Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. Uh, this is somewhat of a special video. Um, I've decided to show you guys my shoe restoration of my Jordan 1 Yang Yangs. Now, crazy thing, um, I've watched a lot of restoration videos, a lot of different techniques, and I'm kind of going to be taking a bunch of different ideas from a bunch of different uh, YouTubers, companies, whatever the case may be. So if you see something in this video and you say, I've seen that before, most likely you've probably seen it. But what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to show you guys how I do it. I'm going to explain it to you. Instead of doing that fast forward process that almost every YouTuber does, because I know they want to cut the video up to a nice point and fit everything in. But I'm kind of going to explain to you what I'm doing before I fast forward. So let's go ahead and hop into the video. So first thing I want to show you guys is the damage to the sneakers. A lot of times, a lot of people just show the shoe from like far away. And you never really get that good close up look. So what I want to show you guys, all the problems with these Jordan ones right now. Now with the Jordan one Yin Yangs, I have a creased toe box with a little bit of rumbles in it, as well as I have scuff marks on the toe box. I have scuff marks on the side right here. You see that scuff mark bleeding right there, as well as I have scuff marks on the back of the Jordan 1 Yang Yangs as well. So I'm gonna be cleaning that up and I'm gonna be painting it as well as ironing the toe boxes and I'm gonna be magic erasing the midsoles and a little bit of the uh, bottoms as well. So as far as all the equipment that I'm gonna be using today, you guys probably can see it on the table, but I'm gonna be using a blow dryer when I'm actually painting the shoes. I'm gonna be using an iron and a damp rag to actually iron the toe box to get the creases out of there. Uh, like I said, I'm going to be using the magic eraser before I use the ironing method, but I'll go step by step on how I do it. Um, also, I'm going to be using paint brushes and the leather paint from, uh, what is it, Angelus. So I'm going to be using this stuff as well. And I'm going to be using this little pin right here. I don't know if you guys can see it, but this little, this little pin, the stuff that you just pin on your boards and everything like that, little post-its and notes. I'm actually, after I paint the toe box, I'm actually going to be putting this in here so that I can actually put the holes back in there so you guys can see that. Um, also, while I'm doing the ironing, I will be stuffing the toe boxes with these little uh, microfiber cloths real quick so that I can get the toe box nice and formed so when I iron it, it doesn't mess up. So everybody's biggest question is probably like, yo, iPod, you didn't even clean them with a brush. You didn't wash them. You didn't do anything. You just hopped in straight into the painting and ironing process. Well, just to let you guys know, I did these two things off camera. Now, the first thing that I use to actually wipe this stuff up is this Crep Cure stuff and this little bristle brush right here. Um, the crazy thing about it is... Um, a lot of people have been telling me about a lot of different companies to use. Um, no other company hit me up and sent me any packages like within the last like year or so. This actual crep package been sitting in my basement closet for probably about three and a half months. And I never knew what to use it for. I never knew that I could restore sneakers or I could bring sneakers back to life just by using this stuff on a day-to-day -day basis after I wear them out and about. But this crep joint came in handy. Um, after I did the whole crep thing, I tried to clean some of the sole, but I don't have a hard bristle brush, so I won't be able to get into all the intricate places to get all the stuff and the gook and the muck and everything out of it. But what I can say is, it did a very good job on the sneaker overall. Also, I did throw these inside the washer. I would say if you're going to throw your sneakers in a washer at all, make sure you wash them on cold with delicate uh whatever cycle or whatever make sure it's cold water and delicate cycle never wash your sneakers with hot water trust me i am a victim of that my sneaker shrunk one time i'm not going to tell y'all about it let's just move on the first thing that i'm going to do to these bad boys is hit it with the magic eraser that's like the final touch for like the sole and everything like that and try to get out some more of the little bit of scuff marks so when i repaint over them they won't have like little hanging white you know, particles from the leather and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and hit this thing real quick. So uh, basically, I'm using the same water that I would use for the damp rag for the ironing process. You don't have to, you know, use nothing else or nothing like that. You just have to make sure you get the thing wet. Make sure it's wrung out. Boy 
moving on to the next process, we're actually going to be ironing the toe box. So what, I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out these little shoe uh, shapers right here. These little shoe shapers, bro, I got these off Amazon. I got a six pack for like five to ten dollars. So if you into shoe shapers and you want to, you know, keep a nice collection, definitely invest in these. I'll probably link these below inside the comment section. All right, let's stuff the toe box. Let's get it popping. Now, this process is always the one that I was looking for on YouTube. What I would do is I would turn your iron to the max so that you can get the steam out of it. Okay, so turn your iron all the way to the max. A lot of people, they already have their iron heated up and stuff like that. Nah, bro, I'm letting y'all know now. Put it to the max, but you don't want to iron it for too long, and you want to make sure that your toe box isn't too hot. So let's go ahead and get into it. It's actually looking a little bit better. Not, not, not nothing too crazy, but what I do notice is, if you guys can see, uh, it is a little scuffing more on the toe box area, but um, we're going we gonna to fix that though. We're going to fix that. All right, moving on to the next one. Now, what I will say is, if you do hit these and you want to hurry up and get to the leather painting, you might want to wait like 10 minutes, wait for the leather to actually cool off. Some people put their sneakers inside the freezer for like five minutes. I've seen that on like Rejuvenator, but I'm going to just go ahead and let this one sit here while I do that. Then after I'm done uh, ironing out this one, I'm actually going to let this one uh, get leather painted and everything like that while this one dries down and cools down then we'll hit that so. all right guys so real quick i got both of the toe boxes done uh creases are very minimal on both toe boxes uh, i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys here both toe boxes are looking pretty good um they're they are stuffed right now though so just just to let you guys know no they do not look that stuff after you take the stuffing out of it so um next thing that we're going to move into is the painting um, I'm going to be using my handy dandy blow dryer as well as the acrylic paint, the brushes, and this little uh, pin right here in case I need to get any holes done. Now, one thing, if you're doing everything on the same table, you want to make sure that your area is dry and clean before you start painting because you don't want to slip. You don't want the you know wetness to hit the sneaker while you're painting. None of that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit this whole table that's damp right now with the blow dryer so we can have a dry space. All right, guys, so I'm only going to be using two brushes uh, right here. I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to be using this big brush for the back of the sneaker and for areas where I want it to blend a little bit better. I'm going to be using this tiny, tiny brush for real intricate spots. So uh, the first thing I'm going to do is work on the toe box to this actual shoe right here. I'm pretty scared, guys, so just, just, just pray for me, man. Just pray for me. Now we're about to work on the left shoe real fast. I just wanted to show you guys this shoe because this is the one with the most scuffs, the most damage to it. So let me just show you guys real quick, man. Um, you guys can see I got scuffing on the top of the toe box. I got it right at the toe. I also have scuffs right on the back of this bad boy. You know what I'm saying? So just to let you guys know, it is damaged. So I'm just going to show you guys these little scuffs. And then I'm going to show you guys what it looked like afterwards. Let's go ahead and work on it. All right, guys, I'm almost done with this pair. Uh, what I have to do is now I have to fill in the gaps between the soles and this actual toe right here just to make it look like, um, you know, they were just made instead of, you know, that, you know, you've been leaning and walking and tearing the sole from the actual toe part. So uh, let's just go ahead and start that right now. Um, I don't have to do much, but just to make sure that it looks good, I'm just going to add a little bit.
All right, guys, so the last thing that I'm going to do is put the laces inside the sneakers. But before I do that, I actually want to show you guys what they actually look like. Um, I'm going to do another up close shot, but this right here is the toe box on both shoes. And let me show you guys the back. Now, remember, the back was pretty scuffed up. Um, we definitely had some crazy marks, but right now they look pretty good, man. They don't look that bad. The soles could be whiter, but I don't have any uh, sole, what is that thing called? Uh, sole care or sole shine or something like that. I don't have any of that, but I'm going to go ahead and lace them up, and then I'm going to do a 360 view on what the sneakers look like after they're laced up. Um, by the way, um, the way that I clean my laces as well, I use this Crep Protect stuff. Um, I put it inside of a bottle, then I put my shoelaces inside of a bottle as well. And then I just washed them. And then I washed them with the sneakers inside the washing machine as well. Now, don't forget, before you start lacing up your shoes and stuff like that, make sure you put your shoe shapers back in. Um, I did take the rags out of the shoes, but just to let y'all know, make sure y'all definitely do that. I brung them back, man. Um, I think I did a pretty good job uh, with my first restore ever. You know what I'm saying? I think, I think the restore process went pretty good, pretty good. Uh, these yin yangs are definitely brought back. They're going to be added back to my collection as my wearables. Um, the sole could be a little bit cleaner. As you guys see right here, man, it's just like a little bit of brown right there, a little bit of dirt, a little bit of grime. Um, maybe I can work on that in the future, uh, get my cleaning skills right. But as far as bringing these things back, man, you guys, you guys seen the, the little Instagram clips in the beginning, man. These joints were do -do 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 -do, like my wife said, but I feel like I brought them back, man. I feel like I brought them back. You could barely see any of the scuffs that was on there, man. The leather is looking real good. These age well, man. Just to let you guys know, these sneakers are an entire year old. These are the 2017 Yin Yangs. They're a year old, but they still look pretty good. As you guys can see, it looks like I might need to iron these. Once again, the creasing is still a little bit on the toe itself, but not the toe box. The toe box looks really, really good. But um, if you guys like the restore video, um, give this video a thumbs up. Definitely. Um, if you guys want to see more restores from you know sneakers that I have that I may wear over time, let me know, and um, we'll talk about it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. If you made it here from to this video and you're not. A uh, fan of the channel make sure you guys subscribe if you're into sneaker videos and stuff like that Hey, if you subscribe and you know you ask for that content I may make more sneaker videos, but it's up to you guys man. Let me know inside the comment section what you guys think It's IKC signing out man. Peace all right, guys, this is the end of the video. I hope you guys definitely enjoy this video. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, and you can also watch one of my previous videos after hitting that subscribe button. I hope you guys like this video. Let's get this thing to 5,000 likes, and this is your boy IKC signing out. Peace.